Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be working on number 49 on page 17 for violins and violas. That means that you're going to need to turn in your book to page 17 and look at number 49, which is called Raise and Lower. If you look at this, we'll look first at the violin book. You'll see that we start off with four A's. Even if you don't know that that's an A, I'm telling you that's where the A is drawn. It's in the second space from the bottom in the staff. So there we have four A's, then four rests, and then under the bottom line in the staff is always our open D. So then we have four open Ds and four rests. Finally, we notice a repeat sign. We notice two dots at the end of the line, so we have to do it twice. So that's what the violin part looks like. If we look at the viola part, we can see that it also starts with four A's. In alto clef, A's are drawn above, get it, the top line. So again, in alto clef, A is drawn above the top line. So we have four open A's, four rests, four open D's, which are drawn in the third space from the bottom, and then four rests along with a repeat sign. So let's clap and sing number 49. Ready, go. A, 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 rest, 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 rest. D, 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 rest, 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 repeat. A, 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 rest, 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 rest. D, 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 rest, 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 rest. After that step, we go to pizzicato. I know that this song is an arco song, that means we use our bow, but first we always pizzicato so that we can have the notes under our fingers before we complicate things with the bows. So we start on our open A string and we sing and pizzicato at the same time. Ready, go. A, A, A. Rest, 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 rest. D, 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 rest, 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 rest. A, 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 rest, 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 rest. D, 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 rest, 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 rest. That time I didn't say repeat right before I repeated the line, but always take the time to notice those two dots at the end of the line of 49. We're then gonna take the time to find our bow. Make sure you've tightened it so that your pinky fits through the middle of the bow. Don't put it down here and slide it over, it's always gonna fit. Don't put it over here and slide it over, it's always going to fit. You wanna check that your pinky fits through the middle. Then we're gonna take time to make our bow hold with our bent thumb under the stick next to the frog two fingers over the frog and our pinky on top because it doesn't want to get its feet wet in the water. Then taking the time to set our bow at the frog. That means that my fingers and my hand are very close to the strings versus if I was here, my fingers and hands you can see are very far away from the strings or they could be even further down here off camera. So we always want to start with our frog near the strings. We then want to find the level for our A string. For violins, you're going to be on your second string you're also gonna to need to change to your D string partway through. That's why during the first measure of rest, it says raise your arm, because you're changing from the A string to the D string. And that's our different bow levels, the A string level and the D string level. For violas, it's gonna look a little bit lower for the A string, because that's your highest string viola players. And then D string again, you're gonna raise your arm. So notice where it says raise and lower in that book, because that's there to help you. Let's give this a try, number 49. Ready, go. A, 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 A. Rest, rest, raise your arm, rest, rest. D, 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 D. Rest, rest, lower your arm, rest, rest, repeat. A, 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 A. Rest, rest, raise your arm, rest, rest. D, 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 D. Rest, 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 rest. That was number 45 Argo, meaning with bow. If you want one more thing to look at, which I know this was already a lot to go through, you'll notice these symbols here. This symbol means down bow and it means start at the frog. This symbol means up bow and it means start at the tip. And you can also see that um, throughout other pieces on this page that they're showing you, oh, 
this is where you start at the frog, and this is where you start at the tip. And this is where you start at the frog, and where you start at the tip. So they're just giving you some clues of where to start your bow whenever you start playing. Have fun practicing number 49, and I hope it goes well for you. We'll talk more about it in class.